YouTube has changed my life even without being monetized yet. So um, in this video, I'm going to talk about my journey on YouTube, how I started, the challenges I faced and how YouTube has actually changed my life. And I'll also be giving um, you tips if you're just starting off and you want to start creating videos on YouTube, I'm going to give you tips on what you should and should not do um, while you're starting off. So yeah, let's get right into it actually took YouTube seriously or very seriously this year. Um, I've scaled, as, I make, as I'm making this video, I've scaled my YouTube channel up to 1.3k um, followers and I'm almost, almost close to um, getting my watch hours. And yes, when I started off, it was not easy. I I didn't really understand. I was all, um, I was all fussing about having the right lightning and setup and all of that. Um, but yeah, we're here and it has been great so far. Uh, um, because of the videos I create on YouTube, I've been able to put myself out there. I've been able to get um, video editing gigs. Yes, I've also gotten students from YouTube channel because I teach UI UX design. Most of my um, most of my videos on YouTube are usually tutorials on. Um, UI UX design. So yeah, it has been great so far. Um, one of the challenges I face while starting is getting audience. So I went as far as even um, telling people, if I meet you on the road, I'll say, oh, please subscribe to my channel. Everybody that I know, friends and family on WhatsApp, Instagram, you know, I was just like telling everybody to um, subscribe to my channel. So while I talk about the challenges, I'm going to tell you how you, you can actually not make the same mistake that I made while starting off. Right, so that challenge of getting audience shouldn't actually be, um, you shouldn't actually go through the route that I went of like telling everybody that you know to subscribe to your channel, especially because of what the watch hours. So most people, your family and friends might subscribe to your channel, but they're not going to watch your content if they're not interested in it. So I don't think that's the best route because today, yes, I have over 1000 subscribers, but I'm still trying to get my watch hours so the second um, challenge that I face is creating content. You might think that you need a lot of lighting and all of that to start creating content, but no, the most important thing when it comes to creating content um, is like providing value to your audience, right? Um, and you don't wait till you're perfect. You don't wait till you have the right light. Just start off, right? Those mistakes that you make along the way is actually what is going to make you as good as you are. Today, I'm just... Um, um, I work and I just have few minutes before uh, my meeting and I feel oh, let me create content I know I didn't really plan this but this is what YouTube has given me the confidence it has given me to be able to speak in public to be able to just you know create things out there let people know what I think and say it intelligently that makes sense or add value to another person so the third um, challenge that I face is lack of motivation to make videos like if you're waiting till when you are motivated to start creating videos, my dear, <laughs> that's not how it works. Get open your camera and start talking. You know, there's something you want to say out there, so you can as well just say it, right? You don't need to be when you're so motivated, even when you feel tired, create content. I've created over 200 videos on YouTube, and I can tell you with them, the more that I create, I get better at doing what I'm doing. So another challenge that I've faced uh, on YouTube is lack of engagement so again don't get your family and friends subscribed to your YouTube channel and uh, they're not going to engage with, <laughs> with your post right it's like oh they're seen something familiar they already know this family face so why am I supposed to engage with this content you know so avoid getting family and friends on your YouTube channel except you know that they super super love you and they're going to take their time and watch your youtube channel so what i did was um i leveraged on tiktok right and i got a lot of people that were actually interested in learning ui ux design because that's what i teach on youtube i'm all about tech um fashion and lifestyle right so i got a lot of people that were inter interested in learning and that's how my channel started seeing engagement and all of that so yeah so youtube has been awesome um i have edited videos for people i have gotten design students from youtube channel i've grown in terms of my confidence in speaking 
um, how to communicate with people. I find it easy communicating with people now. Uh, I've also been invited to talks and podcasts and YouTube sessions. You know, most of them I get paid and some of that yet. So we're still like growing. Um, so again, for you that you're just starting up as a um, new person, in, if you're just starting up, right? Again, number one that I've been shouting since don't invite family and friends to subscribe to your youtube channel they're not going to help you with your watch hours terrible idea number two tip that i have for you is leverage tiktok it is easier to grow on tiktok and then the audience there they're like gen z's and they're all bubbling they're always excited they're always going for knowledge they always they just want to be informed so once you have that, once you've grown on TikTok, you can come and um, take those audience and bring them to YouTube where you create long form content for them. Trust me, they are going to love it and they're going to engage. And number three tips I have for you is don't give up on yourself. When you start, you might not get that engagement or that reception that you hope for. You might even get finished doing like one hour video and two hours video and you're just seeing 10 views, one view, you know, just continue doing what you're doing. Apart from the fact that you want to be monetized on YouTube, it is also grooming you in terms of how you speak. You're actually adding value to yourself. Even if you're adding value to others, you're also adding value to yourself. If you're like me that create um, um, courses and um, tutorials on design or any other tech career path, trust me, you're also learning. I've learned a lot since I started YouTube. Um, I've learned a lot since I started youtube in terms of my career path which is user experience design and again have confidence in yourself you're going to figure it out lastly create content that people want to watch not content that you think you people would want to watch or content you want people to watch that's actually the mistake that i made but right now what i'm doing better is to leverage on um the inspiration that I am. Um, there's a this inspiration section on YouTube where you get to see what people are actually searching for and also leverage on Google um, Trends to see keywords that people are searching for. And I've, I've used it on one of my videos and that video was like on 100 and something, almost 900 and something views, but right now it's actually in 2.5K um, um, views. And yes, uh, so yes, I'm rooting for you. Um, if you're just starting up, I'm rooting for you and I'm confident that you're going to figure it out just like the way I'm figuring it out. And if you're new to my channel or you're just seeing this video, please subscribe to my channel and join my family. I have um, I have Pam Talks, which is a podcast that actually focuses on um, people, career people. Um, career people we talk about you know everything that people don't want to talk about in careers we talk about it and I also teach you how you have design I'm actually a lawyer but this is what I do now so yeah thank you